right, so today we are doing a day in the life of a loan signing agent of She Boss Mobile, the hustler, the chick from the Bronx that moved to Florida for a new start. <laughs> so I woke up, guys, at three in the morning, dripping sweat. I live in Florida. It was 85 degrees in my house because my AC stopped working. So it is Friday, and I don't know about you, but on Fridays, typically notaries are really busy because now you have all these closings that need to happen before Monday, before the new week. So with that being said, I have five closings today. So with the five closings, um, the first one I have is a seller side signing. So I am running over there to do the seller side um i'm gonna get there about 15 minutes early which is perfect i'm hoping to get it rolling get it started and with that being said not only do i have to wiggle my air conditioning guy you know wiggle him into my schedule he's like hey it's friday I, i'm busy and i'm like hold up honey i need you because i cannot last a whole weekend with no ac like how do people do it it's funny because I'm from the Bronx. I had a, a very small apartment in the Bronx and I never had an AC. Like, like we never had, seriously, we had a fan in the window for the summer. Damn, my gas light just came on. Shit. This is real life. This is real life. Get your gas before you start your day. Get your gas before you go to sleep please so you're gonna be learning lessons from me that's for sure so i have my documents i put them in um envelopes so they're all divided i also have my scanner with me i have my laptop with me because every appointment needs scan bags it is so important that you guys get a working you know mobile high speed scanner Please don't use your phone for all these documents. I've had people, when I had to schedule people for signings, I had people tell me, yeah, I have a mobile scanner, da da da, da. And guess what? They, it literally took them hours to send me the scan bags. I was frustrated. I was like, where are you? What is going on? When you close out an order, or when you email you know, title or whoever you're working for, and you tell them the signing is done, the signing is completed successfully, let them know how long you are going to take with scan bags because it is crucial um, communication. Communication is just crucial. Like communication all the way. That way we're not like trying to second guess and trying to, you know, pretty much have an anxiety attack figuring out where the heck you at. So when you close out an order, please, please, please state that it, everything was successfully signed any comments the signers had, any questions the, com the signers had, or any requests for afterwards, like, you know, signer requested a copy of signed documents or whatever. And then say, working on scan bags will be uploading within the next, you know, 30, 45 minutes, whatever it is, let us know, we need to know. So anyways, I'm going to my first one, guys. It's Friday, I'm hype, I need gas, I need food in my system. <laughs> Um, I need to pick up my toner and my drum from Office Depot. I do pick up at store because um, it's cheaper. You save on shipping. And plus, sometimes I just go in there just to go in there. Um, and I like it. And it's next to like a protein shake place, which is perfect. So in my mind, I'm just like, okay, Office Depot, shake. And I need to go turn in my lease for an office. Guys, I'm doing so much. I am excited to share. Stay tuned. So we just finished the seller side. I thought it was gonna be 30 minutes, but it was an actual whole hour, which is fine. I got some cute jelly beans. These are champagne jelly beans. I'm like so excited and I took pictures. Normally I do not take pictures with the clients. I don't know why I need to put my face out there. Damn, my lips are dry as fuck. Anyways, um, it's a great day and it's gonna continue to be a great day and everyone is just going to be happy 
So I am flying right now to go and um, basically I have to go ahead get my lease signed for my new office that I'm renting and um, then fly out, not fly, but then go rush to my next seller side closing. So I'm getting things done and my gas light is still on you guys, but we are rocking and rolling and I'm gonna push this baby to the edge. <laughs> Okay, so I finished my second signing. It was a seller side. It was pretty quick and simple. I want to say 30 minutes, maybe at most. It was only like 15 pages, but because I like to scan everything at the table, it just took 30 minutes. But I am done. Now I'm going to go home, make sure my AC gets fixed, guys go eat and then I'll go ahead and worry about drop-offs because I'm waiting for a label for my first signing and then I'm also waiting for um, the okay to drop off from this signing so when you work with signing services they're each are so different some will tell you you have to wait for permission to drop off and some will tell you go ahead and just drop it off and others will wait to give you a label. They will have to check the scan bags first and then decide um, if they're okay to give you a label. Be careful of those because sometimes they take so long to give you a label and you have to like pretty much, I don't wanna say attack them, but you have to pretty much um, harass them and be like hey i need a label i need to drop off these documents by end of day so it just honestly all depends on what kind of signing service you're working with or title office um just get to know them get to know their rules and how they are make mental notes and you'll be successful all right on to i'm going home get my air conditioning guy coming in and uh make sure I guess I'm booed. All right, guys. All right, so my um, third appointment was a success. It was actually a refinance to a beautiful home. And honestly, it was just amazing. Like, literally amazing. Um, you know, water, a water back, waterfront backyard, um, amazing dog, amazing signers. The only thing is you have to remember, you have to control the table and you kind of get carried away sometimes speaking like just like chatting and exchanging information because the girl was a notary and you, you get carried away with like just talking and sometimes the Puerto Rican me needs to be like, shit. Griselle, relax. <laughs> You're talking too much. But I did double check my documents and everything is good to go. And um, so one of my signings got canceled. So I'm going to my last signing, which is the one that's for 7 p.m. And it's like 35 minutes away. So overall, all my appointments were no, I guess, no further than 30, 35 minutes. So that's good, because normally I'm like an hour away and it takes forever. So with this refinance that I just did, it literally took me an hour and a half, but it was because I was chatting. And then I was just, you know, just talking crap. I was literally just talking crap. And um, we were just hee hee ha ha and exchanging information. And I just hope, you know, they think of me when they need a notary because they can't notarize their own stuff. Um, but it was just interesting just meeting other people in the same mindset, same circle. Um, just I've been meeting so many people today that are like starting over. And they're literally, obviously they're older than I am. And they're literally starting over with like a dream job, a dream business, um, a dream house, you know. A, a dream vacation home like I'm just 
I need that energy. I need that energy. I need to feel that energy. I love that energy. Like, yes, talk to me about your dreams. Talk to me about what you're doing. How did you get there? Yeah, it's like, it's motivation because it's showing me, it's showing me that it is not too late. It is not too late to start over. It is not too late to jump, you know, to jump to another career path. It's literally not too late. And I... I need that like what can I say I need that I love that and um, I know I I know the path that I'm on it's going to be a successful path um, it might it, I might pivot right I might change routes um, but I'm gonna be and continue to be an entrepreneur and a successful one okay um, with my last appointment, because it went past um, the FedEx hours, obviously it's Friday, so I will have to go tomorrow morning to FedEx to drop off these documents and to make sure they get delivered by Monday. So even though you have a late signing on a Friday, your job is still to make sure these documents get out. So you better take your ass to FedEx and UPS on a Saturday morning and get these documents out. So... My next document, my next signing is for a loan application. And it was only like maybe, I wanna say 40 pages. Um, I didn't even get to prep the documents. So it's weird because normally I look at them and prep them. But with this one, I didn't. And I should have because now I'm going into it blind. I've never done one of these. So wish me luck, wish me luck. And I'll let you guys know how it went, okay?